China, Russia, and Iran are teaming up for naval drills in the Indian Ocean. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark. You should be using a VPN, like Surfshark, to protect yourself whenever you go online. So, President Biden is facing a lot of challenges in just the first few weeks of his presidency. The latest? A meeting of the Legion of Doom. That's right, Russia, China, and Iran are holding joint naval drills in the Indian Ocean. I'm sure India is thrilled. The naval drills will begin mid-February. Wait, mid-February? I know what this is. It's a new holiday. Look at the success of Valentine's spin-off holiday, Galentine's Day. So obviously, the next step is Villantine's Day, when you celebrate with all your favorite villains and their navies. According to Moscow's ambassador to Tehran, the drills would rehearse search and rescue operations and ensuring the safety of shipping. Similar drills were held back in 2019. Now get this. These new drills were announced shortly after the only U.S. aircraft carrier in the Middle East, the USS Nimitz, was ordered back to the U.S. Last year, the Trump administration had ordered the Nimitz remain in the area because of heightened tensions with Iran. But according to the New York Times, since President Biden is looking to renew the Iran nuclear deal that Trump withdrew from, he ordered the ship back to its home port in Washington. But the alliance between Russia, Iran, and China is making the U.S. military pretty nervous. This week, U.S. Central Command Chief General Kenneth McKenzie gave a keynote speech about the threats posed by these powers. He said the United States faces increasing competition in the Middle East from Russia and China both vying for power and influence through a combination of diplomatic, military, and economic means. And China has a particular interest in the region. China is dependent on the region for half of its crude oil. China continues to cultivate trade relationships, economic investment, and comprehensive partnerships among regional states. China uses its Belt and Road Initiative and the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor to expand Chinese influence and presence within the region. However, the U.S. is doing its own joint naval drills with Australia and Japan, clearly aimed at sending a message to China. According to a Chinese military analyst, the exercise is to ensure the connection between the Guam base and other bases if it comes under attack from Beijing. That was backed up by a U.S. general who said China and Russia can increasingly hold overseas U.S. bases at risk. To adapt, the Air Force must evolve from its dependence on well-established airfields or risk building an operational edge. But in addition to these drills, it seems the USS Nimitz made a little detour and is now joining another U.S. aircraft carrier for training drills in the South China Sea. It's the first large-scale freedom of navigation operation aimed at Beijing since the start of the Biden presidency. And that comes just days after the destroyer USS John S. McCain conducted operations in the vicinity of the Paracel Islands, a disputed archipelago in the region claimed by China, Vietnam, and Taiwan. So things are really heating up in the South China Sea. This is going to turn out well. And this episode is sponsored by Surfshark. When you go online, you should be using a VPN like Surfshark to protect your identity. Everything you do online is being tracked and logged by the websites you visit and your internet service provider, and in many cases, by the government. And if you're in an authoritarian country like China, Russia, or Iran, this kind of tracking can put you at risk of surveillance and even arrest. So I recommend you use Surfshark to protect yourself online. When you use Surfshark's clean web mode, you'll be protected from trackers, plus a lot of ads and malware. With one account, you can connect as many devices as you want. Try it out with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And Surfshark has a special discount for China Uncensored fans. Go to surfshark.com uncensored and use the code uncensored to get our special deal that includes three extra months for free. Click the link below. 
Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.